brigades for this battle. Detachments of your army are gathering at Logan's Crossroads to commence an attack on a rebel for force at uh, Mill Springs. Our scouts have spotted rebel patrols at the woods heading towards your position. Guard the crossroads until the rest of the detachments join you. <clears throat> okay, pretty nice. So we start off with this. I'm hoping that we're getting reinforcements at some point. Uh, but I'll go ahead and just get these guys into position. And let's start the battle. So we have to hold Logan Cross here, guys. Um, I think we've got a pretty good position. So we're just going to wait it out, see if the rebels show up. Yeah, let's go ahead and put Walton over here. So he's actually um, holding the area in a fortified position. And it's quiet out here. These rebels are probably advancing. We better get some reinforcements. I'm going to actually put the supplies here. So I know how much they love to just charge in with some cavalry and run off with our supplies. We can fast forward just a bit, guys, to uh, see where the rebels are, and we can spot them. Look at that. Skirmishers at a distance. Uh, and we've got Johnson's men moving up here. So let's send Loomis over here where Walton is and see if we can't assist him in pushing Johnson off. Looks like we've got some reinforcing units. It's about time. Push them up here. Cumberland Gap is ours. And again, this area of the Cumberland Gap was essential um, because it, it crossed between three states. Uh, this is why both sides really desperately needed it and wanted it. And some of the states, like Kentucky, were split down the middle between a Confederate and a Union. We've got Kentucky regiments on both sides. There we go. Devastating shot on Johnston by Loomis, man. That was amazing. Let's hope he can keep it up. His reloading is taking a little longer. Uh, as you can see here, Loomis is pretty new. I think he's just a colonel. It's going to take him a while before he develops, you know, the skill of a general. So far, we're holding them off. Believe it or not, that field does actually give us a little bit of a defensive bonus, 33%. Now I'm going to go try to move in here a little quicker. Now we, we, won't, we won't even uh, do the double quick march. Let's just try to hit Johnston here. Enemies got their own skirmishers. Oh, look at that. That's what I like to see. Try to get him over here. Didn't want them to attack, damn it. Total fail on my part, so let's just hope the skirmishers can take them out. I think we're still going to be fine, but uh, that was not my intention. Enemy cavalry on our flank. Well, we know we have to change our positioning here. And sure enough, they got Harlan. He got... Who's getting supplies? I'm going to try to get Harlan as close as I can over here uh, to the infantry. Come on, Harlan. You can do this. And I didn't want them to take it. I really didn't. Um, I think I'll set up the artillery and start firing. And let's get Wilch, the rest of these boys, to open up. Sully as well. Fortunately, it looks like some of our units were, rally, uh, were, were routed here. Hopefully, they'll rally again. But uh, Martin is on the way to attack that position, so we need to do this quickly. Just hope Martin fails the charge. And we've got more men in Walton's brigade, but who knows? You know, perhaps they've... They're not as, as good um, in terms of close combat. We're just not sure. Okay, it looks like he might break. Let's see, we've got these Confederates here, forcing some of them back. Let's move forward. I'm going to try to move Loomis right up there. Keep on moving, boys. So we got any more reinforcements. Doesn't look like it, but I'm going to push uh, the supply wagon here, and our general will try to get more in the center. Prepare to give him hell, man. Definitely need to get to that position sooner rather than later. Might even send the cavalry in there for, for a nice little charge uh, to try and get Gibson back. We just can't lose that position. It's so much harder to take it once we lose it. Yeah, they're definitely already getting through there. I'll charge. I will definitely charge. I know when the right time to charge is for the Union, and this is definitely the right time to charge. Uh, let's push these cannons up as well. We're not going to have their supporting fire for a while, but we will get closer to this area and secure this area a little better. Come on, Loomis. And there we go. Sure enough, a route on Gibson's side. Greg, the cavalry, are also still chasing down those rebels, slashing at them with sabers. So I might actually keep Greg in this area. The rest of these boys move over here. 
We've also got, in terms of topography, um, a nice position up here on top of the hill. With so many rebels over here, I'm going to go ahead and actually deploy uh, these cannons. I've changed my mind. Let's deploy them up here on top of the hill and also get Sully to start firing. Get him on the double quick. So once again, the enemy is forcing us back. We just can't have that. Let's have uh, Wilch fire on these boys. Get all of the damn shell shot you can in that area. It's the Civil War equivalent here of Broken Arrow, man. Call in all artillery. Sully gonna get a nice volley. I think this time we're not gonna charge. We're just gonna keep opening fire. We should, we should be able to overwhelm them uh, with fire. So let's try to do that. Cool it on the charging. We can see a lot of our boys have already fallen there. I mean, the rebels have lost a lot too, but we shouldn't be losing this many uh, in just this one conflict, I don't think. back. That's for damn sure. Um, let's bring these boys forward. And I'm going to move in this way, so we'll try to kind of box them in, if that makes sense. We could also just go for a massive charger. Our men outnumber them, but do they have a good charge in them? I don't know. We're about to get Russell to break, so I think we should hold off for now. Consider our options. There's Russell. Get the hell out of here. Rebel bastard. Well, we'll go ahead and actually turn for Johnston. And I want to do that on the double quick. Just make sure these guys are always on the double quick um, so that they're turning, you know, faster. And let's see if Willich can get up here. I think we can retake that location pretty soon. But I'd rather open fire on Anderson and do as much damage as possible. Look at that! Pond and Anderson um, arriving here to attack us. It's going to be a downhill uh, bonus with our cavalry, so I'm going to go for it. I don't. Even, I think they were about to stop the charge. I think they were going. They stopped it, and we are going to follow it up, and finish it off. Artillery fire over here. Woods, skirmishers as well. Put the herd on the rebels, and let's see if we can get Wilch right into that position. Double quick. Look at that charge, guys. Amazing. Really well done. Potentially, I did not mean to do that with him. Damn it. We could potentially even um, follow the army off the field here. Yeah, absolutely. Sending these rebels running. They are packing for sure. But I'm going to have to probably go back and support Wilch eventually. As you can see, the Rebels are not happy that we've taken the position. They're moving in. We're going to move in as well. Also push up with uh, Agrippa so that we have some of that morale support. And moral support, too. Here we go. Oh, boy. I don't know if I want to go in with skirmishers. Willich is going back in. Can you believe this? Our men ran away from the fight. Now they're back. And look at that group of rebels, guys, right there in the middle. They're stuck in between two farm buildings. Hopefully, we just cut them to pieces. Cut them to ribbons here. I mean, the best case scenario would be they surrender. Uh, so hopefully, that's what will happen. But I think they just managed to get away. Stewart is running now. That was a hell of a situation for our boys. Don't stop firing. Sully, nice, uh, nice shot. Volley there still towards Gibson. And we'll move Milroy up as well. We're going to have to move Willich up eventually, I think, or one of these boys up eventually, uh, just to hold that position. Maybe we put the skirmishers in there. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, though. All right, let's get Loomis up again. This guy's seen a lot, of, uh, a lot of bloodshed during this fight. I don't blame him for being nervous. Let's also move the uh, artillery up there. The last thing I want for them is just take, to take the farm building. Obviously, that would make the battle a lot more difficult. We're taking flanking shots there from Anderson. We've got to try and take the position again. Come on. Come on, boys. 
Ooh, we've got skirmishers on our flank. Where's the cavalry? Where's the damn cavalry? Charge them. I think they're gonna regret this. The skirmishers, I mean, not our cavalry. Yeah, as you can see, just taking those fortified positions doesn't seem to work in this game very well. It's always better to be, like, in formation. Walton forward. I definitely want to try and focus on the enemies uh, damaging us here at the farm, so I'm going to have both of those batteries fire at that area there. Oh man, so many rebels on this battlefield. Yeah, so they're running, they're, they're not even able to hold their, their uh, location and stay put. They know what's going to happen if they do, we're just going to shoot them to hell, so... I think this place is safe even without us taking that awful fortified, quote-unquote, fortified position. It doesn't feel fortified to me. Russell making a charge here for the Confederates. The rebels still think they can win this fight, and you know what? Even I still think they can win this fight. So I'm not celebrating yet. Uh, let's grab these boys move forward. Will fire at Anderson. He's been a problem. A nice volley there. Come on, Sully. I don't know why Sully is not getting that volley. Very weird. There we go. And that actually broke Anderson's forces. Fortunately, we're going to have to move up here once again. That's what we got Willage for. Pretty much, it's like packing um, a hole with cement. We're just trying to pack as many men as we can in here uh, to make sure that this is technically our location. Let's have Martin have it. Let's have Martin running. Come on, boys. I didn't expect this particular battle to get this bloody, because this is kind of one of the smaller fights in the battle with other Gap. Um, man, it's a crazy in this one. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Wavel. How you doing, buddy? the artillery directly ahead of us. Внимание. Говорит Москва. Thank you for following us, Danilo. Служите Москву. Спасибо. Okay. Push up Walton once again. The Union must prevail, friends. The Union must prevail. Only four seconds before we go to the next part of this battle. So hopefully this will be sufficient. second. It can't be contested either. Oh, we got a nice little cavalry battle in the middle of the field. <laughs> Did not expect that. Okay, there we go. We can finish the mission. Yes! We took the victory at the crossroads there, guys. The Battle of Cumberland Gap. Pretty even casualties. We lost 2,045. The enemy lost 3,000. Um, let's see if we lost any officers. Oh my goodness, man. So Kelly Walton and Pedro Harland. A captain and a colonel killed. Uh, luckily, Wade Scales um, actually increased to a lieutenant colonel here. But that's that's not a unit we wanted to lose. The War Service Medal. Well, thank you, 